Hi guys. Um, Viking Ale review. Okay, I'm going to be reviewing a beer from a brewery that um, was one of the first breweries I tried when I was way back when I first started doing reviews. Um, it's the Hook Norton Brewery. Um, pretty famous uh, in the UK because they got a lot of stuff in the supermarkets and they're very consistent. They do like really decent beers like you got um, Hooky Gold, which is a really nice sort of zesty pale ale. You've got Old, old Hooky, which is a nice sort of tasty sort of, um, I don't know how to describe it, but like a brown ale sort of thing. Um, and you've even got Hooky, which is just their original base beer, which is just a really, really nice beer to drink. Um, it's one of the rare ones in the supermarket that you can rely on. Uh, similar to like Williams Brothers, their stuff, you know, very, you know what you're going to get when you try one of their beers. Anyway, this is their Lion, which is a premium pale ale, Pride of the Cotswolds, which comes in at 4.4%. I've never heard of this one, so I'm quite looking forward to trying it. Lovely looking label, unlike the rest of their labels. Um, it says a perfectly balanced bronze beer full of fruit flavours and aromas, complex yet refreshing. refreshing. Lion has a long bittersweet finish and that's from Roger Protz who's a leading beer writer so there you go if um if old Roger said it then you know it's got to be true isn't it right anyway never mind I'm just a ball bloke drinking a beer let's go so as you can see it's pouring lovely um, not so much bronze, I would have said that's more like a golden. So, but then again, saying that, when the light hits it at a certain angle, it does look a bit bronze. Very clear, bright white head, filtered. Um, Hook Norton don't really go for bottle conditioned, hence the supermarket beers, you know. If, um, I hate saying the uneducated or anything like that, but you know, someone new to craft beer when they find a the sediment and stuff they'll probably be a bit put off and think oh has this beer gone off because I know I was like that when I first started out with a hunter's beer um, which one was it full bore it was like a barley wine you know you shouldn't really be starting out with a barley wine but no me I was just like oh big ABV I'll try that whacked it in a glass loads of peas and carrots floating through thanks to AK for that reference um, and I just thought the beer had gone off, so I threw it away. And it turns out, no, it's supposed to be like that. Um, anyway, so there you go. Nice and filtered, very clear. Let's give it a nose. I'm not expecting much on a nose, but... I'm getting a little bit of um, diacetol on that, that's not good. Which is like a butterscotchy sort of smell. Um, usually when a beer's on a turn, or something's damaged a bottle, you, you tend to get that. Um, let's see if I can get anything else. Actually, they're starting to fade a bit. You're getting more like um, an earthy sort of hop coming through. Um, a little bit of like um, hedge fruits, sort of like a, maybe like um, an elderberry or something like that. Nothing too sort of over the top. But you're getting a very predominant earthy smell, so let's just give it a go. I'm expecting like a, an English sort of bitter, so cheers guys. Lion. Yeah, it's alright. It's got a big earthy hit at the end. If you like your earthy beers, you'll love this beer. Um, but <clears throat> there's not much on the um, the intro as it hits your tongue. It's just very sort of clean. Um, not much going on. Then this sort of maltiness sort of makes its appearance. Not too sort of like not like a big sweaty sweaty malt, but you know, a slightly sort of um, dancey, frivolous malt um, comes in and it's like, oh yeah, that's quite nice. But then, you know, the big earthy bollocks comes in and it's like, boy, and that's when it takes over and you get a very big earthy hit at the end, which is not too bad actually. Um, doesn't linger too much. So it leaves a nice sort of clean finish and um, and makes you want to go back in again. It's a, it's just a really decent sort of English bitter, really. Um, I'd be happy to drink this in a pub, definitely.
but yeah it's good I do like the bitterness um, there is a touch of lemon at the beginning you have to sort of get a couple of gulps in before you start detecting these other notes I, tend, I don't know if other people are like that but I'm like that as well it's a, you know you have to get a good couple of three or four sips and then more flavours start opening up um, but you're definitely getting a bit of lemon coming through a bit of zestiness those hedge fruits are coming through a slightly bit more the maltiness is taking a bit of a back seat but that earthiness is just there all the time it's big time earthiness coming through and it's a nice earthiness at first I thought it was going to be a bit too over the top but it's good it's like a proper rugged you know ugh, sort of manly fucking beer sorry I shouldn't have said beer um, ale <laughs> But yeah, it's good. I like it. Um, you, you don't really. I don't think I've ever been let down by Hawk Norton. Um, nice beer, seven out of ten. I wouldn't mind trying it on cast, see what it's like there. But as it is in a bottle, it's really nice. So if that is in the supermarket, and you see it, I recommend they give it a go. Um, yeah, Lion. There you go. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again soon. Maybe this evening for another Urban Viking Hour review. Cheers.